really pleased to be able to share with you now the refresh work that we've undertaken on our organisational values. The values that we've been working to up until now were first set out in 2007, so it's a long time ago. So much has changed in our world, so much has changed in the ambulance service, so much has changed in this organisation. And our teams, our colleagues have been working with staff right across the organisation, the emergency service, the patient transport service, the control rooms, etc., to review our organisational values and to refresh them, to make them more relevant to the work that we all do and the world in which we all work. So the new values, which are excellence, integrity, compassion, inclusivity and accountability, are the things that we all believe, every single member of staff who contributed believe, are the most important factors in our workplace. Making sure we do the very best we can for our patients. Making sure that we're transparent and honest and open in all our dealings. Making sure that we're kind, empathetic and supportive towards other members of staff, but also towards patients. Making sure that we treat all with dignity and respect and that we actually value diversity in our organisation and in our population. And finally, making sure through accountability that we're held to account for our own and others' behaviours. I think the new refresh values mean that we'll all have a standard to work to. It's something we can all strive for to maintain excellence in the call centre and to make sure that patients get the right care in the right time frame. Going forward, we will align our recruitment processes to ensure that any new people that join the organisation meet those new values and behaviours. We will look at our assessments and interview processes to ensure that those people meet the values and behaviours and in doing so, we can provide the very best patient care. I think the new behaviours are absolutely fantastic because they clearly set out expected behaviours for all staff, uh, whereas the old ones were open to interpretation. These ones give, give clear guidelines on how staff should behave, what's expected, and I think it's, there's no mistaking um, on what good behaviour should look like. What's really useful with these behaviours is that they set out behaviours for our staff and also for our leaders, and so at any time we can be held accountable both to ourselves and to our staff and our patients at any given time. By demonstrating professionalism, integrity, accountability and compassion towards our colleagues, and patients, we will support a culture in which people are encouraged to ask questions and feel safe to do so. I think it's having these values at the heart of everything that we do is really, really important and it's key for, for what we do as an organisation because ultimately if we have these values embedded into ourselves and we're professional and everything that we do, the way that we communicate, that rubs off on patient care and ultimately everything that we do, the patient is at the centre. So as we relaunch these values, I'd invite every single member of staff in the organisation to reflect and make sure that your behaviour and your team's behaviours fits in with these new values. Thank you. Really big thank you to all of you have, that have contributed to the review and the refresh of our organisational values and I hope that they will help us improve the organisation, improve the services for our patients and also strengthen the support that we provide to all of our staff. Thank you so much.